did it again, you two. <laughs> what is up? All right, guys, we are in Nashville, Tennessee. I think a lot of you guys remember that I was in Florida. Um, I told y'all, I got commitment issues. We jotted out to Nashville for a month. We got here last night. We were in Florida for about two months. And basically, if a lot of you guys are not familiar who I am, what I do, I'm Key, Keon Day, nice to meet you. I make viral TikTok for companies. And basically, they, what they do is they send us out product. Our goal is to go viral for them on TikTok. You don't need a following. I've been doing this for about five years. They pay us anywhere from two, upwards of 20K per month on top of commission. You take on how many brands you want, and you rinse and repeat and go viral until you can't anymore. That's literally how it is and allows us to live this life. But we were in Florida. We were supposed to be in Florida into November, but honestly, being in a box, like being in a house and we were kind of in the middle of nowhere, it caused us to just kind of go insane because all we would do was work, eat, repeat, and monk mode's a myth. I think you need, as a human, to get out, be active, and we weren't doing that. So we said, whatever, we're gonna back our things up, kick rocks, and we end up coming to Nashville. So I'm gonna give you guys a quick tour of what we're working with, and I'm just gonna sit down and talk to you beautiful people because I miss you. All right. So. As you guys see, let's start from here. Start from the closet. We got the closet in here. Um, I don't know if you can see that. There you go. We got, we got the room. You know how to get the biggest room, you know. Yeah, no. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Alright, alright, alright. Okay, 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 okay. We got the bathroom. So the crazy part about this bathroom is, why oh, it's so dark on my camera? Crazy part about this bathroom is, right? It has heated floors. Insane, insane. We got the beautiful living area. Got the guitar. You got that dacky dack. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. I like the way, uh-huh. And let me take you outside, man. This balcony is crazy. You got a private balcony. Nashville, Tennessee, boys. Look at that view, man. Look at that view. I mean, it's just don't get no better than this. God has just blessed us in so many ways. And all I can do is say thank you. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to play with the exposure. Boom. All right, we got John here. Hey, this girl. We got Mr. Ian's room. There's, there's a bathroom, you know, he didn't get the big windows like me. Got you in here. Hey, why is my camera doing this? What? Like the outline shit. Oh, just saying what's in focus. Okay. Yeah, see you, Sean. Okay, any any uh, new updates? How you feel about the Nashville, man? Dormitorial right here, bro. How you feeling, man? If you had a scale of 1 to 10, what are you, what are you feeling? I'm going to give it a solid 9, just okay, because okay. the window's kind of small, but other than that, it just it feels good. I got an actual desk I can work at now, uh -huh, uh -huh. so that's cool. Uh -huh. But he got a good room, so it just better be a ten out of ten. Okay, okay, you know. okay. Any last things? Any last words? What, what, what do you? What, what's the goals for this month? This month, all right, ten k, obviously, base, okay. bare minimum. Um, run it up for creatively. Yep. Get them in there. Let's get it. Yes, sir. And go viral as much as possible. All for right. The brands and for the personal brands. So yes, okay. sir. Let's a lot of, lot of you guys seen Ian on my channel. He does exactly what I do. We basically travel together make content together and yeah but uh, any last words before i head out and show them nashville might, might be the move man oh you heard it first nashville might be the, move, nashville might be the entire move. all right guys i'm back i'm better um yeah so we're here we're out here I'm trying to make this brighter we're out here we're doing things i'm gonna set you guys up and we're gonna sit down we're gonna have a talk we're gonna have ian probably come into it as well but see you guys in a bit give me a second <laughs> We are in this fire, fire ass telephone booth at the moment and it's absolutely lit. It is currently 10.30 p.m. and we're in Nashville like I mentioned, but I just wanted to shoot the rest of this video just because I gave you guys um, the house tour and I just want to sit back and say like absolutely, truly, truly blessed in terms of like his entire life. Uh, first and foremost, I want to thank God. And a lot of you guys are not religious, cool, but I am a very, very, I'm a man of God. So I want to thank God first for giving me this opportunity. The life that I've, I have been living this past few years, you can say, or even the past few months, or whatever it may be, I'm not in shock. None of this is a coincidence because in the beginning of it all, this is what I've asked for from God. This is the journey and the path and everything that I went through 
has came into full circle and it's not even everything like I don't even think I'm anywhere near my potential in life but back then back in 2019 2019 2018 I have even my notes in my journal saying all this that this would all be my life eventually and I didn't know when but I knew if I kept going at it eventually it would be there like I guess I don't think I'm anywhere near where I want to be of course I've just seen glimpse God's giving me the glimpse of it you know almost like a pre-trailer or a prequel as far as what things are going to look like but I've been loving this journey, the highs, the lows, the trials and tribulations, and even be able to just be on here, be raw, be authentic, be myself, and share my entire journey. So if anyone's out there who's watching this, even young, you know, it's so easy in today's world to be so caught up in terms of what's out there, compare yourself, but it's very, very cliche to say, but bro, consistency is what got me here. You know, I make 25, 50 grand a month, but my whole entire personality around my life has not been about around chasing money. It's been able to serve my purpose that he's given me. And this is a way of me doing it, giving back, showing people how I do it, showing people that it's possible, it's more to life than just working the job, being miserable and being able to actually genuinely figure yourself out instead of this money shit. Like this money shit, bro, that comes and goes. It doesn't matter. I've really found myself truly knowing that I am not attached to money whatsoever. I can lose it all tomorrow and still be totally fine. I wouldn't freak out because I've just put myself in these positions so many times to figure this shit out that I have trust in myself more than anything. You can put me on a deserted island for 30 days and I would trust myself. I would survive and get out of there. And that's just something I've built with myself, a relationship that I've genuinely built with myself. And I only have good intentions in anything and everything that I do. I don't look at anything negative in my life. I don't remember the last time I've even remotely thought negative because I think everything happens for a reason. There's no coincidence. So I don't know, I'm just extremely blessed. Like these past couple years, it's just been dope. And it's none of this shit is like shocking to me because it's like what I asked for and what I've worked toward every single day and night and going in debt, like crazy amounts of time, having long nights, working the jobs. A lot of you guys probably don't know the story, but I've worked 20 plus jobs before I was 18. And there was a point of time and a point, a part of me that knew eventually if I wanted to get out of that position, I could. And that's the thing with today. Like most people don't think they can get out of the position. I've talked to 40 year olds, 50 year olds, trying to help them get into the game that I get in. But like, the truthfully be honest of why a lot of people can't succeed in just the game of business or even in life it's just because people are soft no one wants to commit and be consistent everyone wants the fast money and fast money is never good money and that's coming from someone who chased the fast money at one point in their life and it's not fun but as you mature and as you start to realize there's more to life than money and also just being able to actually willingly learn yourself everything will come into like everything will come for a circle so it's been able to attach yourself regardless um, amongst like what happens the situations you know if anything good or bad goes into your life so been able to enjoy it but i'm in nashville now we were in florida for about two months i lived in costa rica for a bit i lived in toronto for a bit i lived in dallas for a bit i'm originally from ohio and all this started with content like picking up a phone and it all started with dropshipping, then I blew up through TikTok and then got into this full time because I realized I could do it for brands. And now brands send me tens of thousands of dollars a month. And it's no coincidence. I've been doing it for almost five years now. That's why when you see people are like, oh, gurus, this gurus, that, I still make 25 to 50 grand a month still doing this. Now I just take on brands that are, you know, basically um, paying me a lot more because I have experience where I can charge brands six, seven K per month. And it allows me just to get up and travel. One of my biggest things when it came to making money was first off taking care of my mom. That's what I do now. Like I was like, and I'm not even trying to like flex or anything, but I was actually willing to give my mom a couple grand the other day. I've always wanted to do that. Like it's something I've always wanted to do soon here soon bro a car then a house and then saying like mom you don't even got to work again and of course get taking care of my brothers my niece my brother like my uh, my boys taking trips like i don't rock watches i got this little heart that was made from a special person and i rock my cross but i don't drive fast cars I just don't care about any of that. It was one of the things that I wanted the most when I started making this type of money was just to get up and have the ability to do whatever. And that's what I've been able to do. So I'm truly blessed. And this business has changed my life in so many ways. People ask me like, why are you, why are you, why are you teaching people and giving people free salt? It's like, bro, why not? And, and it's my purpose in life to help and serve others. So that's exactly what I get to do. And I know this model works because I ran up a series 10, 9K in 30 days with no case studies showing you guys how to do it. So everything I do comes from the hardest intent with intentions. Like I hope you guys get that vibe from me. If you go to my Instagram, you can see I'm just a goofy AF who just likes to have fun with life because life is too short to be pissed. Life is too short to not just go all in and give it a shot. It could all be gone tomorrow. So yeah, hope you guys enjoy this video. Love the support that you guys continue to give me. And we're going to keep these raw and authentic as much as possible because you guys are supporting me more than anything. And I'm, I'm extremely blessed for that. So without further ado, hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and I might, I'm going to post a one tomorrow with like the whiteboard. But yeah, Nashville's dope. If you guys, anybody in Nashville, reach out. Say what's up. Um, and then I don't know what's next. I think next we might um, go back home to Ohio and then hit up South Africa, chill for a bit. And we might run Nashville full time. But other than that, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Um, and peace. Actually, I should show you guys the co-working space, like how this all looks. 
I'll show you guys. Give me one second. I'm just shooting the video on that thingy right there. Just give you guys a quick little run around. This place, this place is nasty. All right, I'm going to introduce some uh, fellow mates. We got Jaws right here, man. Where you go? Oh, fuck, where you go, bro? <laughs> He's moving. All right, who's uh, gonna who's gonna introduce yourself first? Go ahead, go ahead. Who we got right here? We got Josh. Josh. Do I say what I do? <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. <laughs> I'm in Nashville, Tennessee right now. I work with content creators. I just met these guys. They're dope. We, we were friends on Instagram for a while. We're finally linking up. We got a lot coming this month. Let's go. Let's go. We got to go. What's up, man? What's up? <laughs> Yo, I'm Zach. Uh, I do photo and film and stuff. Um, I have like a studio going. So yeah, yeah. You know, this is a motherfucker right here. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even have to introduce myself. <laughs> There's me, of course. <laughs> All right. Hope you guys enjoy it. Um, there's not any editing. You guys know that. It's just straight raw dog, raw dog video. I don't know. You can't hear me in the fucking mic, but we'll get this posted right now. And yeah, we'll see you the next one. Peace.